Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi again, and welcome back to Celebrating Act 2. And our special Hollywood historian guest, Manny Pacheco. And Manny, Art and I have a little quiz for you today. Right, Art? Yeah, we've been, we've been bouncing stuff back and forth, and we have probably very little idea what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> As normal. Uh, like, uh, uh, there are some like, fascinating names that have been used for characters in the past, like uh, some dude named Pastrami. <laughs> oh yes yeah. fascinating names have been really uh, a, a part of hollywood culture i think writers just revel in the idea of giving their characters uh, names that people will remember maybe yeah. giggle or chuckle as they hear them and uh you just mentioned one of the early examples a uh, duke pastrami was in the great film ball of fire it's a, Ho a howard hawks directed masterpiece with gary cooper and uh s uh, S.Z. Sakal and Henry Travers. But there's another character as well in there. Uh, Duke Pastrami, by the way, was played by Dan Duryea, one of the great really? character actors. Yes, he plays a, uh, a gangster. So if you're going to be a, you know, a gangster, you gotta, you got to be Duke Pastrami, you know? you got to be tough. <laughs> yeah, so what a great name. I mean, I, I think that's just such a fascinating name. And, and Barbara Stanwyck co-stars they give her just as great an awesome name. They call her Sugar Puss O'Shea. <laughs> really? This is a family yeah. show. 1941. Barbara show, Stanwyck. Barbara That's Stanwyck. Great. And she was nominated for an Oscar for playing Sugar Puss O'Shea. That's now, were these great. real names in a book or something? Or did they make them up and they thought they were being clever? I sometimes they come from a book, and I think more often than not, they make the writers, the screenwriters, and make them uh, make them up themselves because they think they're being very clever. Sure, yeah. sure. Well, one of my favorite movies. I won't mention the name of the movie, but you'll recognize the character's name, the Great Leslie. Oh, and every time he smiled, you get that little sparkle. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That was Tony Curtis in The Great Race. He's up against Professor Fate. Remember? Yes. Another great name. Yeah. <laughs> and The Great Race was meant to be one of those real slapstick 1920-esque kind of comedies. You know, lots of bad things. It's kind of like a, a version of Fractured Flickers. Yes. Lots of great music from Henry yes. Mancini that captured that film. spirit. And the great Leslie. I mean, even heroes can have some really funky names. Sure. Oh, you mean, you mean like, like the Eric Von Strip, uh, Zipper? Eric oh. Von Zipper, one oh, of the great about? characters of all time from the Beach movies. Yes. Harvey Lenbeck, who, of course, was a terrific actor all by himself. I mean, he was he was wonderful in, in Stalag 13. He... Uh, he was just great as the kind of pseudo comedic villain, the uh, member of the rival uh, motorcycle gang in the style of uh, the wild ones and Marlon Brando. <laughs> yeah. And he gets to play Eric Von Zipper. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrific name. And, you know, it followed Harvey Lembeck for the rest of his career. Didn't he really? literally would make appearances in that black leather jacket. Because oh, it, it was such an iconic character to play. That's funny. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the, like funny. The, the Fonz. Like yeah. the Fonz. Yeah. Exactly All right. the zippers on the motorcycle jacket. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's exactly. So I've got, Manny, I've got a name for you that I really, I just pulled it off the list here. I don't know the character or the movie. Smiler Grogan. Oh, well, that that movie has loaded with terrific names. I mean, uh, Smiler Grogan, by the way, was played by Jimmy Durante. And uh, okay. yes, and, and also in the cast uh, are Mickey Rooney, who plays Dingy Bell, uh, <laughs> Buddy Hackett, who plays Benji Benjamin, <laughs> and Sid Caesar, who plays Melville Crump. We're wow. talking about Melville. the iconic, it's a mad, 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 mad world. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. I, d I can picture the movie. I didn't remember any of those names. Any the of those tuna, names. The we were so factory. busy laughing. We were so yeah, busy the, laughing. The tuna, factory the, robbery. the tuna Factory Robbery was also known as the Smiler Grogan case by Spencer Tracy in It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Wow. <laughs> That's good. 
Okay, yeah. well, here's another here's another beauty, Lily Van Stoop. Oh, oh. I, I like that you said another beauty. It is a. <laughs> It was a, a caricature based on the performances of Marlena Dietrich, and uh, uh, Mel Brooks wanted um, uh, Madeline Kahn to play the iconic Lily von Stoop in Blazing Saddles. Yes. What a gr I mean, come on, von Stoop? If, if I could get away with Sugar Puss O'Shea, I, I guess I could get away with von Stoop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, of course, she sings a song just like, Marlena Dietrich would have done it yes. in, yeah. in, a, in a movie or maybe on a stage. Very, very German and very fun. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely. A wonderful character. Yeah. How about this one? Marcellus Washburn. Well, that is a great character played by Buddy Hackett. Along with, um, along with uh, uh, I want to say, um, um, her name, Hermione Gingold. Hermione oh, wow. Gingold uh, also had a great name in this particular piece. Uh, she got to play Eulalie McKechnie Shin, and Buddy Hackett was Marcellus Washburn in The Music Man. They You're had kidding some, me. Yes, they were, that's exactly right. There was Mayor Shin and his wife, Eulalie McKechnie Shin. And, of oh, course, Marcellus wow. was a friend of, uh, of Robert Preston as, uh, as, of course, Harold Hill. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, What's your... that, that's a pretty, uh, an interesting uh, point. Uh, there are a lot of uh, these, uh, many of these are from comedies, obviously. Uh, and I think uh, in more recent times, the producers had some interesting names for some of their characters. And of course, in modern day, you know, Forrest Gump. Uh, so yeah. they, continue, they continue to do that kind of, although that wasn't a comedy. But there are probably, the Bond films probably have so that we're going to let you you uh, share with us uh, of just fabulous, wonderful names for the the genre. Well, I will do that. And and first, let me let me make two comments before I get into Bond. One, Forrest Gump cannot be mentioned without uh, uh, you know Bubba, his friend, his friend yes. Bubba. You know that was great. But you know you said something that I disagree with. Uh, yes, primarily comedies are, are are the genre of these great names. But, you know, John Ford was very famous for putting great, interesting names to his characters in his westerns. And the best example of that was the man who shot Liberty Valance, where you got uh, Major Cassius Starbuckle, played by John Carradine, and Link Appleyard, a sheriff played by Andy Devine. You had, uh, uh, um, you know... Uh, uh, Edmund O'Brien play uh, Dutton Peabody Esquire. I mean, he had these great names in these westerns. That that I mean, even the the lead character James Stewart is named Ransom Stoddard. Who names their child Ransom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so getting back to Bond because that was the question. Um, you know, there were some great character names uh of course uh goldfinger was the name of the character that was his last name that was the villain and his partner villain of course has the most iconic name probably in screen history you, you i don't even know if i can even say it on on camera but you, you who, can. Can, who can forget pussy galore <laughs> <laughs> So you think you, you think there's a connotation of some sort in there that might offend or well, yeah, well, you know, for, for all, for we'll all send it, we'll send this to the censors group, and uh, you know, if, how, if need be, we'll put a you know a balloon in front of your for face. All the, but, for all the kitty cats out there, you know, I I'm, I'm sorry, I apologize, but <laughs> even one of the villains in his earlier bonds uh, from Russia with Love was actually played by a funny named actress named Lada Lenya. Was that a real name? Right. Was that, that was a real name, yes. Yeah. Lot of Lenya. So yeah, I mean these these names are are memorable. They're fun, um, and they're tied to specific actors that we can, you know that we're not going to forget. I I don't have them in front of me, but I would defy you to go check Wikipedia and all the characters that Don Knotts might have played in his films. I'm sure they're very colorful, a grouping of of wonderful names. Yeah. So just just as an example. Yeah. This has been a lot of fun, Manny, and you have won the big prize and successfully completed our quiz. What do you think, Art? Tell them what he gets, Art. 
I guess. Uh, we'll, we'll send it in a plain brown envelope uh, to your home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Manny, I, thanks I, a lot. It was a lot I, of fun. Thank you, guys. <laughs> For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.